What's up fam? Today we have Jason James from Learning Redefined. Uh, really cool guy, started in the space a little while back, kind of back when I was starting, and he grew pretty fast. With that all said, in today's video, you're going to learn how to grow your audience. I hope this video makes you 1% better. Thank you, James. Take us away. Hey guys, I'm Jason. This week, Brandon invited me to share a book with you called Traction by Gabriel Weinberg and Justin Mares. So sit back and let's get started. Traction means growing your audience of potential customers, whether it's getting people to buy a book you wrote or simply getting people to know that it exists. You might be thinking, okay, so it's sort of like advertising, right? And you're absolutely right. Advertising is definitely a way of increasing traction, but it's not the only way, nor is it the best. In this video, I'm going to tell you ways you can grow your audience. In other words, increase traction, starting from scratch. When I was a kid, I remember making a garage sale in order to make enough money to buy the Pokemon game that just came out. I went and put out signs showing people where my garage sale was. I didn't know it at the time, but I was using a type of traction channel, physical ads, to tell people about my business. Even though that was a simple example, it's the exact same strategy big companies use to bring attention to their products. When we take the bus or subway, for example, we see ads inside. When we're in a big city, we see billboards everywhere. Those are no different from the signs I put up as a kid. However, not all traction channels are equal. Depending on who you're trying to target, certain ones work better than others. Let's say you wanted to sell something to grandmothers. A poster at the local retirement home would probably be better than an ad on Snapchat. A primary goal in any business is to experiment with different traction channels in order to find one that works best. There are tons of traction channels. I'm not going to mention all of them, but here are a few that are worth noting. Search engine optimization. If you're an entrepreneur or part of the business, you'll probably have a website or a company website that offers some sort of value or content. Search engine optimization, or SEO for short, is tinkering with the metadata the stuff you don't see within the design of a website to make the content within your site more searchable. In websites that contain a lot of content, hiring an SEO expert could potentially increase the number of visitors to your site by thousands to millions per month. Writing guest posts. When you have a new blog, writing an article in a more established blog is a great way to drive traffic to your own. If people like what you wrote, they'll have to come to your site to read more. Another way of getting traction that's worth mentioning is viral marketing. If you're able to create interesting videos that are shareworthy, one that goes viral could potentially give your company explosive growth without spending a lot of money. Once you've identified the channel that brings the most growth, focus on that. Remember the 80-20 rule? One last thing to mention is that your decision to choose a traction channel not only depends on what type of audience you're trying to reach, but it also depends on what stage your business is at. When I first started my channel, I purchased Google, YouTube, and Facebook ads that linked to one of my videos. I did it for about a month or so and spent around $200. At the end of it, I think I got around 500 subscribers and my channel started to grow by itself. From that point on, I focused on another type of traction channel. Since I had 500 people already interested in my channel, creating better, more shareworthy content was probably a better strategy than spending more money on ads. In the beginning though, buying ads was a great way to increase traction. The takeaway from that example is that at every given point of your business, there are certain traction channels that are more effective than others. Put your entire focus on the best channel, but keep in mind that it will not be the best forever. At some point, the growth will slow down and you will need to switch traction channels in order to take it to the next level. Those were the basics on how to attain traction. New traction channels emerge every day. Twitter didn't exist 10 years ago, Facebook didn't exist 15 years ago, and the internet certainly didn't exist 20 years ago. Or maybe it did. My point is, new traction channels emerge every day, but as long as you understand the core principles that you learned today, we'll be able to translate that knowledge to fit any new technology the future brings. That's all for now. I hope you learned something new, but most of all, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for inviting me to share this book with your fans, Brandon. If you guys liked it, you can also check out my channel, Learning Redefined. See ya!